this video, I'm going to show you how I made these really pretty Tinkerbell edible image cookies. So stay tuned and I will show you how. Here are the things that I use. A 3 inch square cookie cutter. I'm using white roll icing to fill in the cookie with a tip number 3. I'm using a tip number 16 as well for the border and rose food coloring by Wilton. And of course, the Tinkerbell images. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, to get started on my cookie, like I do with all my edible image cookies, is have your icing ready and your images and have the rest of them in a plastic bag so they do not uh, dry up. And I'm going to go ahead and just peel this off and have it ready on the side. Now I have here an um, uh, edible um, food color pen and I'm going to use it to give me a point on each corner so I can know where and how far my icing should go. So then I'm gonna go with my white icing. I do recommend using white, do not add any, any color to this uh, background because it will get absorbed into that um, image and it'll show up. So just keep it white. It'll save you some time in coloring your icing anyways, but just mainly keep it white because um, it will bleed through your image and um, it's just better to keep it white. It'll keep those colors bright and crisp. So just quickly spread your icing. Now do have this icing in like a bit of a medium consistency, not too watery and of course not too thick. Um, just enough to where it glides on really nicely. And let me see, I might need to put a little bit more on this side here. And go ahead and put your, got a little bubble in there. Put your image over it. And make sure that all your corners attach so they don't stick up. And don't worry about some icing that's on the sides here. When you put your border, it'll hide it a little bit. And what I'm going to use is this offset spatula. It's a nice small one. And this will smooth it out. This is one reason why um, I don't recommend using your icing too runny because um, it'll kind of spill out on the sides so that's it so I'm gonna give this some time to dry because I have to go in with my border and my border is going to be in a thicker consistency so I don't want uh, as I pipe for this to start moving so I need to give it a good 45 minutes um, like I always say the longer the better just to make sure that this uh, image adheres to that icing the icing dries and then I can go ahead with my border without worrying about damaging my uh, my icing or my image or moving it around or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest and then I'll come back uh, once they're dry to do the border okay so this has had time to dry so I have here my tip number 16 in the Wilton and some pink and I have here some little stars that I'm going to use just to decorate it and some non pearls and I have here some uh, disco dust that I'm just going to put a little bit actually I can do it now it doesn't matter if you do it now or later just to give it a little bit of a pixie dust look to it and so now I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side and pipe my little border that I normally do with all my edible images. I just find that this does the job, so I stick to that. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit, a few of them on here, a little bit of color to that pink. I think these neon non pearls are just so pretty. I don't remember exactly where I got them. I think I got them from Walmart and it came in a little in a little set of three. It came with something like this. I don't know if these came together. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it came with something like uh, some candies, the nonpareils, and it came with some colored sanding sugar. But um, they did come in a, a packet of three, but um, I did find them at Walmart. So now I'm going to just turn the cookie 
around to the side and we will continue on. Squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull. Again, you can do whatever border that you like. You can do little stars or some other type of design. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to build my stars. Because I need to do that before the icing dries. Let me put it down here since this one's still wet. This one's dry already. I'm just gonna add a little bit. It's still good. I was just gonna add a dab of, of wet icing on there. Spread that glitter out. And that's about it for this one. So that's pretty much it. You've seen uh, my other edible image cookie. So just um, do whatever design that you like with your. Uh, with your border and then just add some uh, sprinkles if you wish or just leave it plain and that's pretty much it for that so I'm just gonna finish up the rest and then put them all together let it give them a little bit of time to dry so the icing can become matte and then I'll just put them all together because I'm done all right guys there you have it aren't these adorable these will be going with the other cookies um, that I will be posting up shortly. They're all Tinkerbell themed. Um, these came out so adorable. They had so many um, Tinkerbell uh, picks online and I just picked up the prettier ones. So um, I hope you like how that uh, turned out. And uh, if you've seen my other edible image cookies, you know that I just um, kind of just decorate them with um, nonpareils or jimmies or um, just uh, edible glitter just pretty easy um, and simple but they just look so delicious and I think they look cute so um, I think these are probably my favorite of all of them that I've made I like all the cookies um, the edible image ones because they're just so easy to make and uh, especially if you have a theme that um, they're hard to make out of uh, cookies these are just the easiest things to do um, but I think these are just so girly and so adorable look at that face Alright guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Stay tuned for a few more Tinkerbell themed cookies. I will be uploading them up shortly or if uh, I probably already did by the time this one goes up. So um, just check those out if you're interested. And that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one guys.